hello and here's the Canadian pennies portion of my coin collection. On the left here is the Canadian cent chart which I use to keep track of the pennies which I have and don't have. Um, I have all the ones highlighted in yellow and the blank ones I am missing. So as you can see I have quite a many. And so um, up top here I'm missing 1858 but I have a few 1959s all the way down here to 1899 these are the ones, don't know if you can see here with um, Queen Victoria the second on the back okay and then this page starts at 1900 right up the top there and 1902 is the start of King Edward looks like that right there and I have lots of duplicates on this page here they're all in fairly good condition goes to 1911 down there and this one here is in very fine condition it's a pretty nice one and the rest are in around F12 condition is what I like to collect fairly inexpensive but they still look nice okay then here's the um, King George the sixth large sense up top here they're in pretty good condition and then starting here is the small sense I'm oh, no, sorry it's on the next page starting right here my small sense um, still have King George the fifth on the back and my rear year right about there 1923 it's in very fine condition it's around a fifty dollar penny right there less than half a million made okay and so this continues on with my large cents with George the fifth on the back which is him right there and so I'm missing a few years there fill those in later and then this is George the sixth just different different portrait he has no crown on now and so these are all in pretty good condition as they're getting older this is from 1938 this page to 1948 and there's the 47 maple leaf which meant it was minted in 1948 and there's a little maple leaf on it which you can't see which means it's 1947 okay next page um, this is the start of Elizabeth Page in 1953 right there um, these are getting into uncirculated condition now like that 1963 proof like right there I'll show you under the light very nice coin nice shine to it barely any scratch marks but yet still fairly inexpensive okay and then it's Queen Elizabeth all the way until 2011 down here which is of course in uncirculated condition okay and now for my nickels part of my collection uh, my earliest nickel so far is a 1902 Canadian silver nickel or, or called fish scales because they are very small and made of silver so, so on the back here is Edward King Edward and this one's in very fine condition it's a very nice coin for that age and as these are silver and have less minted I don't have as many of them as the pennies this is all I have so far and then the silver fish scales as they call them ended in 1921 which I don't have because it's a very expensive coin and then they got into the nickel ones with still King George on the back as you can see right there okay and so they started in 1922 and then this page goes until 1930 down there these are about VG8 to F12 condition so fairly bad condition some of them being higher and then these ones with the leaves on the front as you can see right there 
go until 1936 and then starts our classic beaver on the obverse which I have in all high, higher conditions such as EF40 and on the back of them is Edward the King sorry King George the sixth and then up here in 1943 is the war Tomback nickel which were minted out of Tomback because they were using the nickel to make weapons and artillery stuff like that in the war and the big V on the front is for victory okay and then so I continue on with nickels on this page from 1942 and the war nickel until 1961 which Queen Elizabeth starts again in 1953 these are all in very good condition some even uncirculated such as that one right in there still has lots of shine to it okay and here's pretty much just from 1962 oh there's the centennial 1967 it has a rabbit on it celebrating Canada's 100th year anniversary being created and then I just continues with the Elizabeth II Nichols up again until 2011 right there okay and then here is my sheet counting which nickels I have and you can see there's lots more old ones missing as they're more expensive than the pennies and so next up I'll be showing you the sets